Do you think that Carr could help Manziel? Absolutely. I mean, there's a tremendous stigma attached to addiction and people reaching out. And I've, I've actually been working uh, with the company Ambrosia Treatment Centers, and we're trying to remove that stigma from people. Um, and it's we do recover. We are addicts. We are drug addicts. We are alcoholics, but we do recover. It's a fact. 24 million, million, 24 million Americans are addicted to alcohol or drugs. Only 2 million of them are actively seeking treatment. So we have 22 million people out there going to work with people that are uh, we have relationships with family members mm -hmm. that need help. So, yes, Derek Carr should reach out to him. Um, we've been so proactive. I've reached out to Johnny Menzel um, in the same way Derek reached out to him. We shared a couple tweets, a couple DMs. Um, and yes, I believe in recovery. I believe recovery works. Um, I have almost 10,000 days in recovery. Mm -hmm. um, I stopped drinking September 21st, 1990. Um, when I was with the Vikings, and it sa saved my life. So, yes, that was, you know, almost four million minutes ago. So every day, every decision, any type of voice that helps you get on the right road. <coughs> and, Shannon, you'll appreciate this. You know about the renovation project with the Hall of Fame, yes. Johnson Controls, Hall of Fame Village. They're doing $500 million renovation. And we've partnered with the Hall of Fame and putting the treatment center in the Hall of Fame. So former players, current mm. players would have the ability to get some type of help if they had some issues Love with that. substance abuse. So who was most instrumental and influential in getting you to the right place back in 1990? Uh, Buddy Ryan, when he cut me. Mm. When, he, when he cut me and, and sent me packing, they told me I could pack my things in a, in a hefty garbage bag. That right there was an the impetus for me to realize that I needed to do something substantial in my life or I was going to lose my career, lose my family. How, how aware was things. Buddy that you had an issue? Oh, he was very aware. That's the reason why he cut me. He told me that. Okay. He told me he cut me because he couldn't trust me. Mm. And when I got to Minnesota, Minnesota, that's the reason why I love the Vikings, um, they hired someone before I even got there. They said there's a kid in Philadelphia. He might be released this weekend, and he needs mm -hmm. help. So the Minnesota Vikings started one of the most advanced substance abuse programs, and that's how I was able to get healthy, through employee, employee assistance program. So, mm -hmm. um, Who was in charge of the Vikings at that point? Do you remember who, who had made that decision? Well, we, like Whitney, was one of the owners. Mm -hmm. And he had a friend in Betty, Betty Trilogy who was yeah. involved in substance abuse right. and hired her for the first time to be able to help out the players. Interesting.